Because honest to God, all of these shops, all of these brands, whether it's high street or high end, they are so varied in their sizing. So for me, picking these up in a large just makes me feel more comfortable. All right, so I am aware that I look a little bit like a wild woman who's just came out of the forest today. Um, I have been working for the past three days. I haven't washed my hair. There's a lot of dry shampoo going on here. But took Jack to the nursery this morning. I picked up some stuff last week from Primark, H&M, Zara, New Look, etc. Because I am going on my holidays this weekend. There's only two days to go. You will see my suitcase is sitting in the background here, waiting to be packed. There's stuff up here for um, toys for a toddler on the plane. It's all go. So I figured I'm gonna try out some of the stuff that I bought last week because it is very difficult to go into changing rooms when you've got a one year old. He'll only sit for so long before he's like, I ain't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. So a lot of the time I bring stuff home, I try it on, then I decide if I'm gonna take it back to the shops. I'm not gonna lie, before Jack had done that as well, but here we are. So I picked up a few new bits for holidays. If I'm honest with you, I haven't really done big hauls or anything like that for a long, long time. Usually what I do is cycle my wardrobe. I think I kinda mentioned this in my bikini video as well. If that is not already up, then it will be coming, but if it is, I'll put it in the corner. I just cycle my wardrobe. I put away all the autumn winter stuff just now and get out all the spring summer stuff. If there's anything that needs replaced because it's worn down or anything like that, or if there's anything that I think I'm missing out of my wardrobe, I might pick something up with the trends. But a lot of the time I try to buy clothes that I know are gonna last me a long time. But I have not bought new holiday wear, holiday clothes and things like that for some time now. So I went out and treated myself, I'm not gonna lie. I also recently picked up some new things like uh, trousers and stuff that could be worn here in our spring summer time as well because it can be a bit variable in Scotland. It could rain all summer for Anno, I don't know what's gonna happen. But on our holiday, we are definitely, we're going to the Canaries, so it's gonna be lovely, roast and warm. So I've picked up a few bits that I can wear in that climate. So let's just get into the try on. So first of all, what I'm gonna say is I didn't go out and buy this all like in one day. Um, over the last maybe, I wanna say month or so, I have been picking up little bits and bobs just with the change in the weather. And I picked up actually probably even maybe two months ago, a beautiful pair of those dad style trousers. The ones that are really nice and tailored and then they've got a really wide leg. They drape down over my thighs really nicely. I kind of mentioned in my bikini video as well, I am an average UK size 12. On the top, I can get away with a 10, depending on the shops that I go into. But on the bottom, I can be anywhere from a 12 to a size 16. Maybe even an 18, depending on the shops you're going into. Um, I have very big hips, thighs and bottom. But actually on the whole, I am happy with my shape, my size, all that kind of stuff. But everybody has their little hang ups about their own body. So please don't comment, thank you. Um, but these are the kind of trousers that I'm talking about. Now this pair that I got two months ago were from Zara and they were quite expensive, but they are very, very beautifully well made. And they are in more of a khaki color and they are a bit heavier. So I feel like they will suit really well for a bit of a Scottish summer. Um, I'll be able to wear them. If it's really hot, then I probably won't wear them. But if it's like an evening type situation, I'd be able to wear them. And I'll be able to wear them through into kind of autumn, winter as well. So I picked them up and maybe I won't take them on holiday with me. I seen Primark were doing their own style of them. And I was like, yes, please, thank you. Because they were a fraction of the cost for a start. Obviously they are not as well made, but these are gorgeous for the summer. They've got like beautiful big pockets in them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna pop these on, but I'll pop a picture to the side here so you can see them full length because this is very difficult to get all the way back and let you show all the bits and bobs that I'm trying on. So I'm gonna put these on to try on some of the tops that I picked up, but I am definitely keeping these. I've had these on several times since I bought them, but these are also from Primark and I do believe they are still in Primark and they are in different shades now as well, but I, I really like this color. Now will I just tie my hair up because it might be a bit difficult to see what I'm trying on if my hair is down around my face. So I've just pulled it off my face there. Now this is a really loose, almost like a light knit, but not knitted as in you couldn't wear it in a warm country. It's very, very light. It's just a very light knit. It's got a beautiful kind of drop at the back here. I just love the cut of the back. 
I feel, I've got hair dangling down as well, don't I? Um, but I feel like it's just a beautiful neckline. I love the shape. And obviously what I would do is like tuck these into these trousers. I would wear this with jeans and everything as well. But I love how kind of smart cash, I fucking hate that when people say that, but it is kind of smart casual this makes it. I would, as I say, absolutely wear this with jeans as well. It's just so comfortable. I feel like you could have it a little higher on the neckline if you want, wear it a little lower. I don't have a bra on, I'm comfortable with that. But if you did need a bra with this, it's still got a kind of back there that you could hide a bra under. By the way, if you see <laughs> that I've caught the sun already, that just goes to show you how warm it's been in Scotland, which is like unbelievable. And I did have SPF on, but what can I say? I am peely wally white and that's what happens. It's totally ruined my self tan videos now, but here we are. But I love this outfit. I love, like it's smart. You could wear it with like a nice little loafer or something. Actually, let me show you a pair of shoes that I picked up. I picked up these ones here from New Look. Now I actually had a pair like this from New Look, maybe I want to say four years ago. Um, they were the same as this, but it was more like a quilted style and they were black. I also had them in a khaki. I wonder if I've still got them. I'm gonna go and look them out. But they're very, very comfortable and they're very reasonable. I want, I want to say these were $15.99 or something in that range. Very, very comfy. But exactly the kind of thing that I would wear on holiday, but also would wear here on a nice fair day. If it was too hot, then maybe not the trousers. I'd swap them out for a short or something. But, love this. Sorry, I'm gonna move my suitcase. Love this, love this outfit. It's very, very like smart, like you've, you've kind of not really tried, but very cool. I love it, I love this so much. And also these shoes are not going back because I have been wearing them. <laughs> um, however, this top I have not yet tried and I think this is very, very nice. I'll definitely keep this. Now I was gonna try things on in like order of shop, so I was just gonna try all the pre-mark things on there, but I wanna try the other tops on with the trousers that I've got on. So I'm gonna try on them and then we'll see where we go. I'll tell you where everything's from anyway. Okay, so I picked this little top up in new look. I knew the kind of look I was going for. I knew the, the vibe, if we're gonna use that word. I knew what I was going for, but this is not, this is not it. <laughs> Again, I, because I picked up that top that was kind of that fine knit, I should say as well, the black pre top did come in kind of beige colours as well. Maybe I'm going away in two days, but maybe I'll go back and pick the beige one up. I don't know. But this is more like an actual crochet. Can you see that there? It has actual detailing on it. It has nice little shell buttons. And I thought on the hanger, this looked really nice. This is a UK size 12. I don't mind that it cuts there and shows a little bit of the stomach. That's okay. But I don't think this, as a flat, like, I just feel like this is almost too high. I just feel like it's bursting a little bit here as well. And if you were someone who was a size 12, but you had, you know, a, a 32 or a 34 uh, E or D or something, like, like that's gonna burst straight away. Cause I'm only a C and it's sitting quite gapy there. So I knew what I was going for with this top, but unfortunately, I think this one's gonna have to go back. Um, have we got a price on this one? Okay, so this one was also 15.99, but I just don't like it. I just don't think, I'm not I'm not into it. And I get, yeah, I get the vibe I was going for. I like the color. I love the pattern. I like the little buttons. The shape, the shape is not me. I don't like the shape. So this is going back. Okay, so moving on to tops from H&M now. And again, I just wanted to get some like casual, nice stuff that I could either dress up with a trouser or a skirt or something like that, but also that would be very casual to wear running about with a toddler during the day as well. Very, very comfortable. I like the cut of this as well. Um, it is a little higher on the back actually. It, it's hiding my tan line really, really well. This is, $7.99 I want to say, I looked at the tag before I put it on. $7.99 or $6.99 and I think it's very, very nice. Um, probably is a little higher, like it's not a crop top, maybe just hits at your belly button, depending on where your belly button is, but works well again with these trousers for me and I would wear it with shorts and stuff as well. So I will keep this top, I think this is nice, just a little casual number, even to throw underneath things, like if you've got something sheer, it's a nice nude that you could wear under something sheer as well. I think this is really nice. Now what I also have from H&M is just a really nice crisp white t-shirt. I have a lot of white t-shirts, I'm not gonna lie. I've probably got about four of them. But over the years, like the first one that I bought, I think Monkey. Monkey used to do the best kind of crew neck t-shirts. They were my favorite to wear, just a white t-shirt and jeans. But that is now a kind of more cream gray color. 
after years of washing it. And I know like you can keep your whites white and all that kind of thing, but I have probably had it the better part of five years now. So I am just replacing one of the ones that I'm probably gonna get rid of. What I'm gonna say is though, this is a very soft, this isn't like, the monkey one that I had was like a good kind of thick heavy t-shirt material. This is very soft, but I thought it would be useful for summer and possibly going on a holiday. But for that reason, I'm just gonna put it on over the top of this one because this one is already kind of see-through and I bet you this one is even more see-through. And this was 9.99. But again, let's just try it on with these trousers. And here we go. And I love that kind of relaxed fit in a t-shirt. I like if they're a little bit looser. Like I'm not really into t-shirts that are like a capped sleeve, if you know what I mean. Like I don't dislike them, but I prefer a little bit of a longer sleeve in my t-shirt. It's why I quite like a band t-shirt as well. And a lot of the time I do share t-shirts with Alan and wear band t-shirts that he uses as well because I prefer that slightly, you might say oversized, but I think I'm more of a relaxed fit. I don't think it's oversized. I prefer that in a t-shirt. I also really love that if you're tucking it into jeans or a pair of trousers like this. I think it just looks really casual, but also quite classic as well. So, you know, uh, yeah. So this is definitely like a little bit more see-through. I'm hoping you can see the other top through this. So you probably would need a nude bra or something like that under it if you're worried about it being see-through. On holiday, I probably will just wear like a, t a nude bra underneath this, or maybe even this. I don't know, it depends. Maybe too hot, maybe too hot. But I do really like this. I think it's really nice. And this also will do me for spring summers in Scotland and months to come and later in, in the winter. It's not like I'm just gonna use this in the summer, but it's very, very soft. It's that kind of, um, not fleecy, it's still cotton, but it's like maybe like a brushed cotton. Is that what it is? But I love this shape of a t-shirt. This is my favorite kind of t-shirt. So sticking with H&M, I am gonna change these trousers and I am gonna try on some shorts that I picked up. Because again, shorts are something I really struggle with because of the shape of me. I am a classic pear shape. And especially at the moment, I feel like there's a lot of dress shorts in fashion at the moment, which are really, really nice. I really like them. Like, like just imagine these trousers in a short form, basically like slightly cut off here. But what I find is that in the short form, they are usually very tight round the thigh or very tight on the hip. So if I want something that's gonna fit my waist, uh, then usually across the bum and the hip, it just doesn't work. So what I've picked up from H&M are slightly more like a stretch short, so we're gonna give them a go because I don't wanna be wearing something that's super duper tight or maybe is gonna chafe or anything like that while I'm on holiday. My hair is a riotous mess. I've not had a shower yet, I'll get around to it. Um, but these ones, these are like, these are a linen blend and I love the color of these, but you can see that they crease quite easily. I will iron them before we go away. But I picked these ones up in a large, because they're the kind of thicker material, they're a heavier material and linen, I was just again worried that round the leg, they were gonna be a little neat almost. I'm just holding them up against me now. But let's try them on and see. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this t-shirt off as well so that you can see it with kind of more what it looks like against my skin. Oh, they actually fit really, really nice. They definitely need an iron, I understand that, but Lovely pockets and very loose on the leg, actually. And this is the largest, I say. I would usually go for a medium, but I just felt like, do you know what's gonna happen? I'll get the medium and they'll be like, that, that on my legs. That's how I feel a lot of the time with the shape that I am. So actually, I am happy with the large. Always like, don't fucking look at labels. I know if this is obvious now, I'm probably just telling you something you already know. But see if you've always been a size 12 and you need to go up to 14, or you've always been a size 16 and you need to go to 18, whatever it is, don't fucking worry about the number or the, the letter if it's like small, medium, large. Because honest to God, all of these shops, all of these brands, whether it's high street or high end, they are so fucking varied in their sizing. So for me, picking these up in a large just makes me feel more comfortable. I think they feel more comfortable, they look better on me in this kind of a shape. They're not gonna be tight around my legs. If I was so stubborn that I thought, I'm normally a medium, I'm gonna just pick them up in a medium, then I'd be uncomfortable because I'd be walking about like that, no doubt. Maybe not quite like that, but you get my gist. These actually are really nice cut. They're almost like, um, Colot style, is that what you would say? Very, very nice. I really, really like these. I think they're very good. And these ones were 12 dollars which was pretty good. And then I picked up these ones because 
I wanted a couple of pairs of shorts to take away. And again, shorts are not something I own a lot of because of those reasons. Whenever I try to pick up shorts, I used to like, oh, see when I was younger, I used to long for a pair of denim shorts, like proper like Daisy Duke or like nice denim shorts that you could wear to a festival. And I swear to God, I just heart broke myself every time I tried to do it. It doesn't matter how many pairs of denim shorts I try, they all look shit because of the way denim is, the stiffer material and stuff. They just look shit. They're never ever cut right for my shape of figure. So do you know what? I just gave up. Um, so <laughs> these styles are better. But I picked up basically the same kind of style, but this is a very, like a crepe fabric, I would say. So the material itself is actually quite stretchy. So these ones, did I pick these ones up? I picked these up in a large as well. These are 9 dollars They're slightly cheaper because of the probably because the fabric's different. They have a big elasticated waistband. That one's an elasticated waistband as well, but I have a feeling that this large might be too large. So let's just try these on. Okay, first of all, this doesn't have pockets either. Maybe that accounts for this like price difference. There's no pockets. I went to go like that and I was like, what the fuck's going on? There's no pockets. But these are far too big. If I just turn to the side here and show you, they're actually hanging down at the back. Can you see that? So these ones are far too big and they are also a large. So I will go back and maybe change these ones because I'm actually still really happy with the size of the leg and stuff. And because they are a stretchy fabric, then actually I don't think the thing with like having tightness around the leg will happen with these shorts, but they're absolutely far, far too big on my waist. They're just, I mean, unless you wanted to wear them like Bermuda shorts, 90s style, but, oh my God, do you know what that was? That was my cup sheet order. So that's exciting. Let's just fucking film that right after this. So as I was saying, um, I will definitely probably go back and pick these up in a medium because I think, uh, was that what I was saying? I don't even know now. But I really like the pattern. I really love this kind of palm print. Is it fern even maybe? I really like the pattern of them. So if I can pick them up in the medium, I will go back and get them. If not, I'll be going with one pair of green shorts. Now I think the rest of the things that I've picked up are all dresses, but this is the first one. Now this is also from H&M and I have been seeing a lot, and this isn't a new thing. I wanna say this has been over the last maybe two years, that kind of fine knit like the tops that I showed you and it's in a dress. But again, for spring and summer in Scotland, <laughs> You're not wearing like, you know, it's not roasting hot. It's nice weather. And maybe on the hot days, I wouldn't wear something that was knitted. But in general, there's still like a bit of a breeze. It's not always roasting. So I thought this would be really, really nice. So here it is here. It's just like a tank top style um, midi dress and it has a bit of a slit on the side as well. Now, the reason I picked this up, I'll show you as well. It's kind of got that ribbon detail too. But the reason I picked this up was because I picked up one very, very similar when I found out I was pregnant. Because I thought, well, that'll be great for like when I'm needing to just pull on some tights and put on a dress. It'll be so easy to wear. And I still wear that dress to this day because it is so easy to wear. This is from the maternity range at H&M. But I don't think you would ever know. It doesn't have like that ruching at the side or anything. So if you were actually a pregnant person, maybe you would think, well, that won't be any good. But I found there was a lot of stretch in these dresses. And when I was pregnant, it was never an issue. And as I say, I still wear that dress to this day. The belly on it now is a little bit like oversized, but it doesn't really bother me. And I just think these are really, really good. Um, how much does this cost me? Uh, 24.99 but reasonable and like I say I've been wearing mine now for the better part of 18 months uh, again I wouldn't necessarily wear the black one in the summer maybe just bare legged with some sandals but I wore it throughout all the winters and again re-wore it even when we had Jack here so let's try it on okay so this is it on I fucking love it I absolutely love it again I'm not wearing a bra with it but uh, on holiday I probably wouldn't bother with a bra with it but if I was here I'd probably put on just a little strapless number with it but I think this is so flattering. I love the shape of it. It's kind of figure hugging here. It's got the little slit up the side. It's so casual and so easy to just slip on, but it's so comfortable as well. And because I've bought it in this more kind of beige, kind of, I don't know, nude color, I would say, like just a really nice kind of, what's this called, ecru? Would you call it ecru? Um, and as I say, it's got like a bit of a striped detail to it, but actually looking in the mirror, it actually has a little bit of a checkered detail to it as well in closer inspection. There must be kind of threads going that way as well. But I absolutely 
love this. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really, really nice. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. We'll wear on holiday. We'll wear here. Okay, so next up I went to Zara and I've got two dresses from Zara. I'm covering myself. Uh, a spotty one that's a little bit more bodycon and this one here which is kind of boho style. So let's try them. Okay, so let's just talk you through this one because I seen this on the hanger. I love the pattern. I love the cut. Very nice. And the back has a really interesting bit as well. So low back with like some cool straps. But here's the thing. If I'm gonna wear something that's kind of bodycon, it makes it difficult again, for the same reasons. I have wider hips than my waist, etc. So I picked this up in the large. This was $32.99. And now that I've tried it on, I do think it is very, very pretty. Very, very flattering. Very, very nice. But what I am feeling, hold on, I'll show you the back. Some lovely detail in there on the back too. But I am feeling a little bit like the bottom is fine. The bottom fits me. It's like figure hugging. It's maybe even slightly a wee bit neat, slightly, but I'd get away with it because it's that figure hugging style. But the top, although it looks fine on camera, although it looks fine in real life, to be honest with you, does feel a little bit loose, just a little bit. Not that you would notice it if you were out walking about or anything, but I feel like if you were someone who needs a little support, this is gonna jiggle quite a lot. And personally, I think that's happening because on the top half of this dress, it's just a little bit big for me, just ever so slightly. And that is simply because, as I say, I am not all the one shape. Who fucking is all the one shape, let's face it. And Zara sizing is absolutely mental, completely and utterly mental. So I've got things from Zara that are small and I've got things from Zara that are like an extra large. Where they get their sizing from, I have no idea. Um, but I do feel like this is just a little big on the top. But I do, I do think it looks really pretty too. So I'm kind of in two minds like, will I keep it? Won't I keep it? I, I think it's gorgeous. I love it as well. It's got like a slit in the leg up the front here. And I think the back is beautiful. I feel like it's really, really nice. I'm just wondering, it's like just a little bit big here. I'll have probably either taken it back by now or not, but comment down below and let me know. It's not often I would ask you to comment on my, my body, but what do you think? Do you think this is a little bit big? I just feel like if I had the medium in this, like it was never gonna go over my hips, but this would have maybe sat and gave me a little bit more like oomph. Does that make, it maybe would have sat a little bit more like this, but because it's the large, it's just a little bit loosey goosey there. But again, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. I'm fucking talking myself out of it and I think it's nice. Talking myself out of it. We all do it. You're looking in the mirror being like, is this me? Mm, does it really suit me? Is my hips too big? All that pish. It's nice. It's nice. Why am I talking myself out of this? Stop being a fucking moron. I'm keeping it. I've decided I'm keeping it. Whether you've commented or not, I'm keeping it. Okay, so I picked this one up as well. I feel like this one had a name to it. Was it the Selena or something? There was a name on this dress. What is it? Yeah, it was a Selena dress. So if you're looking for it, that's what this one is. So the reason I picked this up is it's like a beautiful cream kind of long skirt. It's a uh, linen. It probably is just nice and light, but it has a double layer as well. So don't worry about it being like too thin or something. It's got a double layer to it. I really love this kind of a cut of a dress, the kind of empire line style. I love this, the floaty, almost, I'm gonna say boho. I'm taking it there. I'm gonna say boho. Chic of it is a little hippy dippy. I love the crochet detailing on the top as well. I actually own a dress that I sometimes wear through kind of, sometimes spring, but winter as well. And it's just like a beautiful crisp white dress. And it has a little top that you throw over and it's like this. It's like a knitted top you throw over it. And it is very, very nice. So that's kind of what drew me towards this dress. I feel like I'm seeing quite a lot, like there's a whole resurgence of noughties fashion at the moment, nineties fashion at the moment. And I'm now starting to see a resurgence of that boho style that we've seen on like um, Nicole Richie and the Olsen twins and all that kind of stuff. We're starting to see a little bit of a resurgence of that. And I feel like that's probably what this is. And it would just, oh, actually, I bought shoes as well. Let me try these shoes on. I picked these little ones up from New Look. They've got a tiny heel on them because I don't really wear high heels anymore. So I picked these ones up from New Look and they were $25.99, I'm just checking there. And these are actually the wide fit ones. I never even realized that. Uh, so let me just try them on because I feel like with this dress, you're not gonna see them, are you? With this dress, that kind of goes, that kind of just like casual tan slip on shoe. These are actually very nice little shoes. Am I gonna keep these, potentially? They're nice. 
I like them. My only feeling is because they're the wide fit, they're maybe a little big, but when you're on holiday, your feet are going to swell, right? So you don't really want to have things that are going to be digging in and uncomfortable. So maybe I will keep them. But I do really like this dress. I think it's very, very pretty. Again, maybe I'm just trying to talk myself out of it. I think it's nice. I think it's beautiful for a holiday. Is it maybe just because I just had some bodycon stuff on and it was all like curves? And now because I'm a little bit more like covered, I'm feeling like it's frumpy. It isn't frumpy. It's not frumpy at all. I think it's really, really sweet. I think it's very nice. It's just kind of cute, isn't it? I don't, I, don't, I don't know why I'm doubting myself. Oh, this is like an insight to my brain because this is what happens. You look at, you're standing in your cell, you look at your cell being like, mm, mm. <laughs> but actually it's really nice. It's really pretty. I can imagine this with some nice kind of layered chains here, maybe a wave through the hair or just letting your hair like tied up in a messy bun or something. Nice hat maybe. Summer. Yeah, yeah. I've talked myself into it now. It's fine. I should say as well, this one has like a, a zip in it. It's not a stretch. This has no stretch in it. I should actually say that because if you're someone who does have a larger chest, I got this in the medium and if you had a larger chest then you might find this is a little constricting because this does not have any stretch at all. Okay, so and lastly, I picked up three dresses from Zara which are going to be very, very creased now. But I also picked up these. How cute are these? They're like little hair clips which I do use these when I'm kind of getting ready. I rarely put butterfly clips like this in my hair but I really like the colours of these ones. I thought they were so cute so I'm definitely taking them on holiday. Okay, so this is the first one that I picked up from Primark and this is definitely marketed as more of a beach cover-up, something like that. I think it was £15. I picked it up in the small, so the small is 10 to 12 in Primark, but as I have explained already, not much going on here, all going on down the bottom. And because it is a big floaty dress, then there is really no issue here, none at all. If you do have anything like going on here, then this is probably not going to offer any support at all, just so you know. It also has a really beautiful low back going on in the little tie at the top. This is very, very elasticated and stretchy. So I think that's why I can get away with the small in this because it's pretty much, it's got like a wee kind of stretch to the shoulder as well. Um, and I, I, is it got a stretch in the waist or is that? No, the stretch is just at the back. So I think this is beautiful. I love the color of this. I love the color of it. It is not a color that I usually wear. Blue is not something I often wear. Not because I don't like blue, just because I don't gravitate towards it. It's not something that I instantly see and think, oh my God, I would absolutely wear that. A lot of the colors that I wear are kind of blacks, reds, neutrals. Um, I do quite like green as well. Yellow I like, but very rarely do I wear blue. And I just thought this was so cute. It's so, so cute. And I would absolutely wear this out as like an evening out dress, not just as a beach cover up. I would wear it both ways. It absolutely needs a bit of a steam into that, but I think it's very, very pretty. And for 15 quid, I'm like, yes, I will wear this year after year. Absolutely. I am not going to stop wearing it unless it falls apart in the washing machine. Okay, so the next one is this dress from Primark. I picked it up in the 12 and it was 20 pounds. Now I have already tried this on and I thought, okay, this is not the right fit. Something's wrong here but I could wear it on holiday. It would be absolutely fine. Like it was just a little loose around the boobs. Again, this is what happens. But then I seen it on a mannequin in Primark the other day and this bit here was like crossed over. Maybe I've worn it wrong. So let me try it on the way I tried it on and then I'll try it on the other way and we will see. It's got like a kind of shell pattern on it. Now, again, I just, I kind of love the cut of this. I love the cut of this. Now I did think that the 12 was probably going to be a bit neat here because usually on the hips, that is just too wee for me, but pleasantly surprised by this dress because it fit me absolutely fine. It's very beautifully figure hugging here, very hourglass shape, even though I'm a pear. Lean into it, lean into your pear shape. Fuck it, who cares? Um, and it's got a beautiful like drop back as well here. The straps also have like um, adjustable straps. So if you felt like this was too high or too low or anything like that, you can adjust them as well. But the bit I was talking about is just here. It's very gapy. Just if I stretch up like that, it's not gonna be gapy. But if I sit like that, this is very gapy. Can we see this here? Very, very gapy. So I thought, hmm, kind of funny fit around this area, but maybe I could put some tit tape here. It would be fine. Nothing would really happen. I don't know. I don't care if my tit flops out. It'll be fine. So <laughs> then I seen it on the mannequin and I thought, oh, they've got this bit crossed over, which would obviously make 
this bit tighter. So let's try it that way. And this is the way it sits with it crossed over. Um, and it is a little bit like crossed over on the back as well. I actually think that is super cute. I, like I'm now like, yeah, into it. Wearing it this way as well, that's really nice. The only thing I would say is because I'm not terribly heavy chested, it's gaping a little bit at the front now. Just ever so slightly, but not the way it was at the sides. It's definitely like a better fit at the sides. The only other thing I would say is, I have now had to loosen these straps to like as far as they will go so that it would fit across this area here. So they are almost on the, I think they're almost the loosest they can go. There's a little bit more in them. That's them. That's them on the loosest they will go now. And what I'm going to say is that if that's the case, then maybe I would have went up a size slightly. I don't know. I don't know. If I went up a size, then this would all be gapey, wouldn't it? But into this, into this at this style as well. Love that it now is crossed over on the back. Yes, loving it. I think this is so nice. I think it's lovely. Love the print as well. I feel like it's an unsuspecting summer print. It's like shells, so beach, but it's black. Love it. I think it's great. Okay, so this is the last dress that I picked up and I'm going to put my hands in front of my chest for a lot of this part because this one, I don't know if it's because it's white, it makes such a big difference because my nipples are darker, but it's very, very, very see-through. Again, on holiday, would I worry so much about it being see-through? Probably wouldn't bother my bum. I could get some little nipple covers and it would be absolutely fine. I don't have a brown. The reason I was a little bit unsure about wearing a bra with this is because of the deeper neckline. I feel like you might see it here, but maybe I could wear like a nice kind of thin triangle shaped nude bra and it would work that way. This one, super duper see-through. Um, but I really like the cut of this one. It absolutely needs a steam absolutely 100% needs a steam but it's very a-line which again for my shape works a treat i love the little like puff sleeve as well i think that's really really cute i just think this is a really nice summer dress very easy like a linen crisp summer dress also should mention that this actually has like a really elasticated waist bit at the back here as well but not on the front and i picked this one up in the 12 as well and i just think it fits beautifully even though normally in dresses i can be a little well bit but yeah, absolutely into this one as well. And lastly, I picked up this one, which actually I picked this up weeks ago. This wasn't like a new purchase. And I have to say, this is just like a little bit of a princess dress of dreams, isn't it? I picked this up in the 12 as well. It has some beautiful detail in it at the bottom. I'm wondering, can I show you? Do you see here? It's got like embroidery around the bottom as well. And this one was 25 pounds. Uh, I'll just show you the back here. It's a little bit like of a square back with uh, smocking here so it's got a lot of stretch in it as well but for me again in this area that's not really a big problem um but i think this is just beautiful it's so nice it's definitely like a maxi length it's going to the floor oh my god i just realized i haven't told you what height i am i am only five foot four but again this probably comes to just below ankle length on me like it's not on the ground uh, definitely not, just kind of ankle length on me. But this is so, so pretty. I love the colour of it. It's like that red colour, but almost red orange. Like just, oh, so gorgeous. You can obviously wear it like this too. You don't need to wear it up on your shoulders. You could wear it whatever way you want. It's got a little tie fastening at the front. I just think this is glorious. This is exactly the kind of thing that I want in the summer to fling on, not worry about. And because obviously it's summertime, if you're someone that shaves your legs and you really can't be arse shaving your legs that day, covers the legs. Covers the legs. Don't worry about it. Just get out there and get your pins out. It's fine. Okay, so that is where I am going to end this video. I hope it was useful to you to get an idea of whatever's in the shops now and some of the bits I'm going to be taking away with me. I think I'm only taking back, I'm going to take back the shorts, but I'm going to, what do you call it? Swap them for another size. So I still want to have them. So what am I taking back? Oh, the, the new look um, crochet top, that's gone back. But everything else, pleasantly surprised with. I might actually see the Primark like, knitted black top. I might see if I can pick them up, one of them up in a lighter shade uh, and just take back that crochet top to new look, to be honest with you. But now, whew, I gotta go and pack the case. Now I gotta go and actually get all the stuff in the case. Uh, and get on my merry way. You will be watching this probably as I am already on holiday. So that's exciting, isn't it? And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.